I think it's conveniently located to them. It's uh, it's an easy road, as the Deputy Commissioner Kearns mentioned. Uh, quick access either by the 401 rail or by truck. Uh, it's an easy access point. It's a very large port, which means they can uh, intermingle their contraband, their, their their containers that can sold these stolen vehicles, in amongst the, the, the trade that's uh, legally flowing out of Canada. So. The bigger it is, uh, they're able to hide in, in the numbers. And that's the significance of this. And the message is that isn't uh, going to work. Uh, Canada is a source nation for stolen vehicles, and uh, every effort is going to be made to identify the shipping, uh, the, the, the shipment of these stolen vehicles out of the country. So far this year, uh, 300 cars were uh, intercepted at the rail yard in Toronto. So working uh, in front, I would say, on that mall is is really like a good thing because like the port of Montreal is really the, the last uh, resort. Like everything that can be done before it is important. So yes, the team, in, uh, CBSA team in GTA is very active at the rail yard to intercept before it comes to the port. For us, like we're just gonna do more. As the more that we're working with the partners, the more reference we're getting, and the more active we're gonna be. So right now we're at 100%. So we're doing all the containers that are referred to us. And if there's more, like we'll be ready to adapt with this new budget coming in. And so we'll have more officers to do the search, but also more intel officers to share the intel because this is a very important aspect of our work to, is to share the intelligence to be able to prosecute uh, at the end of the day and that's the, the end goal. It's not that to intercept that many but to work towards the, the chain to really go and arrest the stealers.